Congratulations, you played yourself. Um, first, on my Instagram feed, I just got to it right here. Congratulations, you played yourself. Goes out to uh, DJ E. Styles, a friend of ours. Uh oh. Congratulations, you played yourself. I ain't just being a douchebag with a leather jacket on my IG, pointing at the camera with some weird <laughs> eyebrow, looking, looking mad, <laughs> looking mad sus. Man, what are you gonna do <laughs> like that? Yo, Congratulations, you played yourself. I don't know. It just came across my feed. I'm just, you know, I'm just going with what's on the IG feed. Uh. Second, I mean, Laura, do you want to give it to a uh, friend of the show and currently in hot water with everyone and people just hating them? Fab. I mean, yes. Yes. Congratulations, you played yourself. Although we don't have all the details yet, you know, we're still learning about what's real and what's not. But just the simple fact that this is out there and if it's, we're going to give him a congratulations, but it's also more, it just makes me really sad, man. It really makes me sad because just the fact that any, any type of, it, like any kind of domestic violence stories that I hear always really put me in a bad place. Congratulations, <laughs> you played yourself. Yeah, and I'm not sure to what degree and where this whole thing is at. Uh, obviously, the video is him yelling and, and doing that whole thing and yelling at uh, Emily B's dad. I'm told that um, that her dad went in and, and took his guns out because she was afraid that he was going to use his guns. And that's what we see in the video. And then that's why Fab says, quote, I got a bullet with your name on it to her dad. That's all of that. And then, you know, it's a terrible, terrible mess, right? And we see it on video, and it's more common. That type of uh, verbal behavior is more common than probably anybody listening or that has been through it wants to admit. But I kind of believe that if he had punched her seven times in the face, as other reports had said, he would have got a battery charge. I think that's how that works, not just a, an assault charge. Um... But we will wait for the facts to come out. Right. And just like we do here on this show, whether we like you or not, Fab, you get the biggest. Congratulations. You played yourself. Because you was wildin', son. Wildin'. Yeah. And not only that, but if this was uh, some sort of uh, issue that you and Emily had brewing before you got to the house... The fact that you got to the house storming around like that, knowing that there's camera phones and all that, you get another congratulations. Congratulations. You played, you played yourself. So that's what it is, man. And we will wait for the facts to come out. Um, and uh, and as they come out, you know, we will continue to uh, share it with you guys. And if you guys out there listening here hear any rumors and facts, you know, be quick to at me. Because I definitely tweeted, if, if Fab punched Emily B in the face seven times, as people are reporting, wouldn't he have gotten a battery charge too or not? Because I'm trying to figure that out. Because terroristic threats usually gets dropped down to a misdemeanor charge. And it's just like documenting that you was talking crazy. Right, right, right. But physical assault, assault is a complete other The assault other charge is, right, is a whole thing. And then battery is a whole other thing. Um, so we'll see. Uh, Laura, what's on your list? Oh, you bro, my friends that are new moms, moms period, we're just t uh, sending this around and I definitely saw it on social media, okay? Uh, an Atlanta charter school is, is, is under fire right now because um, the second grade students, they had, you know, a little performance and there's a video of the performance that's floating around. So the kids, and these are kids from all walks of life, right? All different backgrounds. They all got together to sing uh, Paul Lawrence Dunbar's poem, uh, We Wear the Mask. But the teacher, I don't even understand where, I, uh, it just, how? She thought it was a good idea to have these kids create blackface masks and wear them during the performance. Congratulations. Wow. You played yourself. I'm like, what? Like, uh, my friends were like, if that was my child, I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't even, as soon as I saw them whip out the mask and start saying, I would snatch my child so fast. Because when I watched the video, Ebro, I was like, I don't understand how... People can just stand around and act like this is okay. And wow. now the school is apologizing. It was in poor taste. Oh, it was yeah. inappropriate. Of course it was. You this didn't is, realize that when you was doing you it? You guys are supposed to be educators. And you, I, I don't understand. There's no common sense? 
Don't get me started on disgusting. teachers. Disgusting. It's disgusting. Don't get me started on teachers. Well, we're talking about the specific one, you okay? Yourself. The specific class. Yo, listen, sometimes, oh. yo, teachers know there's a lot of morons amongst you in your teachers' unions. You guys, uh, the biggest congratulations you played yourself now goes again to the king as we wrap this up. Donald Trump. Congratulations. You know I mean? Maybe there's a play. You played yourself. But at short term, it's going to hurt. You notice how last week uh, Trump was like, you know, I'm putting a tariff, you know, an added tax on products going to China. Yes. Well, guess what China did? Through a tariff on products coming to the U.S. from China. Congratulations. 128 products. You yourself. And y'all know we get stuff from China on the cheap. Mm-mm. That's going to drive prices up, B. That's not like this isn't good. Damn. Congratulations. You played Facts. yourself.